Hey y'all, welcome back to the ranch. I'm Jared Paul and today getting back to pruning up some, doing some profile prunes on some of my forests. Uh, the Japanese alcovas and birches have just gone completely out of control. Uh, the maples, not so much, so I might give them a little bit more time before I do this as well. Uh, and then there's some mixed forest plantings, uh, like the one that we're about to do, uh, that are just, you can't really tell what's in there. It's just all grown together. It looks like one big bush when in, in some cases there's up to 11 trees in the planting. So uh, my goal again today is to raise some canopies, give some shaping to the canopies um, around the top and the sides, and just get them kind of uh, squared away so that they look good once again for the rest of uh, hopefully the summer. So we'll start with a Japanese alcova and sweet birch forest planting and see how far we can get. So that's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Vine. All right, y'all, so this thing looks like a terracotta pot, but it's just one of my larger plastic pots with that color. Um, and it was actually large enough and deep enough for me to uh, put it up on the railing and it not be disturbed by any of the winds here. So rather than spending the extra money and doing another terracotta upgrade, I said it's serving its purpose. It's the right size of what I want, it's the right color. So let's save some money. So I'm just going around and just pulling out some of these lower weeds. The weeds basically come up to where the lower leaves are growing off the trees, so this will make it easier for me to see in there. So yeah, so what I really liked about um, putting this planting together was the Japanese Zelkova, which are these, this mass right here, you probably saw in the last video, has a nice fine serrated leaf. And then the sweet birch, also grown from seed, they just keep going. Um, and it has more of, I would say, I don't know, a narrow shape than say a river birch or a white spire birch. I also have those species growing. And those look like more of an arrowhead with the serrated leaf. So not to be quite honest, if I saw these sweet birches in the wild, I probably wouldn't know what the heck they were unless I was told on the seed packet that I grew them from because uh, they don't really look like a true birch. But I thought it was a fun play. Um, kind of have a forest divided, so eventually make a little trail going down the middle. One side will have the zelkovas, the other side will have the birches, and I believe we'll get two different color trunks. Um, so same shape leaves, maybe the birch's leaves will get smaller over time and join up with the zelkovas, but if not, just kind of a fun like, um, hey look, it's the same but not the same type of a forest. And I really, I got into planting larger forests this year, That's, that was my goal for spring. Have less pots to carry and um, I really, have grown to just absolutely love bonsai forests. I really didn't know anything about them until four or five years ago, and just the more I've seen them, I like them a lot. Not that I don't like a single tree, just saying. All right, so maybe we could see in here already. So we have zelkovas from here on over, and then birches here on over. And on the back, I have a nice, jagged, opaque rock. Probably has some quartz in it, I don't know. It's a local rock. So what I like to do is I just start at the bottom and work my way around and raise the canopies up. But then you get a nice little branch like this and you don't want to get rid of it. Okay, so birches, boom, I've got four of those and zelkovas, three of those. So why don't we start with the zelkovas? more chance I'm going to just remove those branches. Zelkova, I, I just picture it more like a maple. So you have like an established trunk line and then a few main branches dividing, building into a nice little canopy. Whereas birch trees, I really like how they, um, they have lower branches that'll grow vertically. 
and then eventually, uh, at least in the wild trees, they even up and you have these multi trunks going vertically and then fanning out, which is very attractive when they get their white trunks. I would assume the sweet birch, just like the other ones, get the white trunk, but uh, none of my birches grown from seed have they started to whiten up yet. So I couldn't tell you. If you grow sweet birches and you got some white trunks, let me know. We just took Stella down to the pond for a little swim, playing with sandcastles. And <laughs> we were unrolling the beach blanket and pulling out the sand toys and I just thought to myself, Francesca is 16. He did this 16 years ago. Here we go. And it was just like a flashback from the past because just like for any, maybe all kids, Stella just wanted to smash all the sandcastles I built. By the time I would start a new one, the other one was destroyed, which was funny. I think younger Jared Paul in his 20s got a little more frustrated with stuff like that. And now I'm just like, whatever, it's a sandcastle. So I have a lower branch here on the Zelkova, kind of growing. Yes, okay, so that's growing back towards this birch. This birch looks pretty weak, actually, just kind of tall and skinny. So I don't know if I want to remove that or not. Maybe I kind of want them to get that. Eh, now I want to remove it because I can't see my rack. All right, I've taken the whole thing out. Good thinking, guys. Yeah, so these alcovas, they get awesome, awesome ramification. Always kicking off new little branches, every direction. It's a lot of fun. So if you don't want to have a lot of trees, but want to be active with them, that's one of the trees I would recommend. It grows quite a bit. Uh, obviously it goes dormant here in Northwest Connecticut for the winter. Uh, but I'm assuming some sort of a warmer climate, a little bit more mild. It could probably be something you work with about nine months out of the year. Of course, you could always just leave it like this and it could look like a crazy bush. <laughs> but. Alright, so this is what I'm talking about. So, with the birch trees, you get that. Got a lower branch now coming out, and it's not going outwards, it's just going straight upwards and following the trunk line. And I found that to be true for birches, so I'm going to allow that. Uh, this one on the outside, I'll remove so we can kind of take a look in. Maybe I will, yeah, I'll remove that lower branch. Maybe some of these lower leaves in the vertical trunk, secondary trunk. And over here, same type of thing. Bruce Lee, thirsty, huh, buddy? All right, so also the branches that are leaking outside the pot and the ones that are just reaching higher than everything else just going to take them back a little bit not really worrying about branching or anything like that because it is only the beginning of June um, I just want these to look their best and I know that they'll come back strong and um, they'll come back strong and I'll be doing a more detailed pruning probably when they go dormant and there's no leaves because it's a lot easier to see the branching. I'm not so much of a fan of full defoliation with my younger trees because I've done it as an experiment before and sometimes it works and then uh, sometimes it's just not worth the risk. When you grow these babies you water them for two three years till they finally look like trees and you don't want to just say ah you know what this could potentially die let me do it. 
another lower branch here, and then I'm just going to take it. And going across the top. Usually you follow the rule of thumb, you bring it back to the first set of leaves, yada, 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 take out cross branching and all that, but this is just not the time for that. As far as I'm concerned with these, I just want to shape them up. Shape them up, keep as much energy in the tree, that'll allow the, the trunks to continue to thicken, the tree to grow strong throughout the season, and like I said, I could do refinement at another time. Wow, look at the size of this leaf compared to this leaf. But they look identical, that's hilarious. Got some more, more branches coming up. Uh, you back. Getting a nice little shape to it. Let's take a look in here. All right, so that's the rear of the forest. This is the front. Cool. All right, y'all, so that's going to do it for the sweet birch and Zalkova planting. Just give you a quick look at my flowering pomegranate here. Going out. Come on, can I get a focus? All right, well, those huge buds are going to open up into some beautiful flowers. And... I was checking it out this weekend and there was only one cut that I wanted to make up here. I think it doesn't have any flowers on it. It's the only kind of like alfalfa branch that's just reaching outside of the canopy there. So I'm just going to take that back to there. And I think I wanted to nip this tip too. Yeah. Cool. All right, first year with a flowering pomegranate. I'm excited about that. So I'm just gonna keep plugging along here as videos upload. I'm just probably going to keep doing them because I'm feeling motivated. Today's a cleanse day, no food, just liquids, and I'm buzzing around. So let's just get the job done. So I'm Jared Paul from My Family to Yours.